show you guys some of the intensity hikes that I get myself into. I do it for the thrill, I do it for the exercise, because it's better than going to a gym. And it's just uh, a good experience. Okay, you can see my option here is straight down, straight down, so I got these cliffs here. Some of it straight up, some of it straight down. <clears throat> you want to get your bearing first, see what you're getting yourself into. As you can see, you don't want to slip. Always try to maintain at least three points of solid contact. Okay, two feet in the hand, or one foot, two hands. It's kind of showing you the landscape. Magnolias, blueberries growing up here. I'm about 5,000 feet up right now. And it turns into this dense, mossy, you know, awesome oasis like this. It's just pretty cool, man. I mean, that's, I could sleep on that. Besides all the chiggers I'm getting all over myself. Yeah. But it's just something to clear your mind. Get you in some good shape. Get some good views, and it's a, a great workout. Okay, you can see I still have to go up that. Okay, I gotta climb that. I've already climbed down and over to where I am. I figure I'll uh, take you along with me. I'm all the way back. Okay, you can see I'm just. Getting good solid footholds, getting eaten by ants. You gotta watch where you put your hands because that can take you out right there. You put your hand in the wrong spot, get bit by some fire ants, you might react to it, let go, lose your balance, and you're going down. So you gotta pay attention to those things. I'm telling you, there's reindeer moss right there, which is cool stuff. It grows to be like 300 years old. You know, it's just prehistoric looking in here. Just gotta pay attention to each step. And that right there is straight up for me. So this is gonna be a challenge. Sometimes going down is more difficult than up because you don't know where you're putting your feet. How you doing? 